Welcome back to FNAF World here on the RBT Game Crew. I'm the Shades along with TWK and Matty J. And uh, I did some I did some grinding off camera to, you know, and got a few new characters, including Shadow Bonnie, who I'll be playing with in this run. So a lot of changes in store this episode. They still look creepy. Of course. It's, it's that cute creepy, you know? <laughs> I need an adult. I am an adult. Hey. I need another adult. <laughs> Maddie, be my... My goddamn gimmick is what you need to do. <laughs> I'm the one who's supposed Maddie, to hate this fucking you be game. My... Maddie, will you be my adult? Oh, God. Go find another goddamn adult. <laughs> anyway, we're back to the lake right now. We're going to finish what we started over there. Um... Also, I got myself some new chips and bites, including, I believe I got the fine characters chip. I might be wrong, but I know we're going to be getting that at some point. Also, these look like the flan enemies from Final Fantasy. I'm pretty sure they're based on We've seen these guys in past levels. Like, they had a blue version of them in the, in the snow level, so it's not surprising there. Also, you might notice now we have three Reapers. I got all three Reapers now, so basically the chances of auto-kill are pretty high. So you're saying is that we shouldn't fear the Reaper, but the enemy should. Yes. Hey, seasons don't fear the Reaper. Or Water. the sea or the sun or the rain. <laughs> How, however, this octopus should. Actually, the Seagoon has nothing to fear because bosses are immune to the insta-kills. Well, fuck a duck. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I guess against boss fights, Reapers on your team are basically useless. Essential. There's only like two bosses. I said this before in a past episode, but there's like two bosses who are actually not immune to the auto death. Um, and you'll be seeing that by the end of the game, I promise you. But most of the main bosses you're going to be seeing are immune to them. As long as you see a health bar, they are immune to auto death. Well, I call shenanigans on that, because if we put in the money to get the auto death, we should get it no matter what. So I don't care difficulty, whatever. <laughs> oh, trust me, you'll 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 see how that comes back in spades by the end of the game. Don't worry. Anywho, so we're just gonna take this guy on again. Thankfully, I like I said, I've been leveling up a lot of my guys, and they're a lot more capable of fighting these guys. I mean, you can see I'm keeping his defenses down. He can't really do much. He's going be taking his health down rather quickly. Yeah. Like I said, we I, I did some training off camera. I did some grinding. Got my, got some points up. So, like I said, I promised you guys I was not going to do too much grinding on camera. Because I know, hey, people hate that. Especially you, T-Dub. Yes. In fact, if, we ever, if I ever do an RPG on here, which I probably will, like, possibly, you know, Paper Mario or Mario RPG, um, you'll see minimal grinding or even... Uh, Man, you probably won't even see any repeat battles, really. Yeah, understandable. Like I said, I'm just that. I, yeah, I'm just that OCD about my editing when it comes to these types of things. That's just how I do. Hey, nothing you wrong do with you that. You and I do me. Yeah. Hey, and we'll do each other. Wait. <laughs> Indeed, and the boss is toast. Didn't even get. Didn't even really get close to killing any of my guys because my gift boxes were still up. So that tells you something. Anyway, we're gonna head over here. And now that we've got some better chances here, we can... Oh, well, we can kill this guy pretty easily. I'll How tell you this. we fought this thing? Yeah. I'll tell you this, though. The auto, the auto death, like the unscrews and the reapers, they make grinding so much easier. I would imagine so. Now, you see those barriers there. We're going to be... By the time we get to the end, we're going to be unlocking those barriers. So, you can get to find out what's behind those doors. That tells me we're going to be breaking one of those barriers. <laughs> oh, yes. More level up. All of the levels. Now, I think we're actually going to start working our way towards the next glitch object. Because we got to start working on that. Wow, Squid Sisters, you got huge. <laughs> no, we were actually just talking about Splatoon before we started recording. 
Yes, and what the current Splatfest is at the time of this recording. Are you ready, kids? Tito, I suggest you stop now while you still have a chance. I'm guessing we at least have a few SpongeBob fans uh, watching it. I'm going to Dave you on site if you keep going with the rhetoric, dude. <laughs> I've never understood the hostility towards a television product like that. Anything that openly insults my intelligence is on my shit list. Anywho, time to enter the glitch out deck. Back into the weirdness. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Insults your intelligence. You should have been raging last Tuesday. We were riffing Masked Rider on Ranger Recap. Yeah. Uh, see, Masked Rider was stupid, but it didn't... It, there's a difference between just being stupid and openly insulting my intelligence. There's a big difference there. Masked Rider so was what you're saying stupid. Is, so what you're saying is your least favorite anime is Gurren Lagann. Thank you. <laughs> the hell out of me. Hi, honey. <laughs> Hi, Lady K. You should expect this shit by now. I've got both fucking headphones in, you asshole. <laughs> this is the best RBT Game Crew recording session ever. Yes. We have yeah. That <laughs> came out of nowhere. <laughs> 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 Give me my chance, startle the lady. <laughs> Just a tad. Also, welcome to the graveyard, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, now we're in, the, I guess, the horror section. And is the is that sort of glitchiness of the video uh, one of the attacks? The, oh, the the that's the escape key. Ah. When it kind of goes black, when the black lines start showing up, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's the escape key. That's basically a mass insta kill uh, attempt. Ah, so you could intentionally insta kill multiple enemies at once. It's got a low percentage chance. I think slightly lower than even the screw the unscrew does. But anyway, nope, we got cutscene. A little slow here. This is a horribly spooky place. I think I'll stay right here. You, however, need to keep going. This is a graveyard for broken and unwanted creations. It's full of nastiness and traps. I don't think everything here is as it seems. Check the graves and the trees. The whole place is full of illusion. And if and you three, a two, a uno. One thing on. is true. Nothing here is as it seems. You need to find another clock, but the passage will not be easy. There is a secret sub corridor that leads to pinwheel. Oh, find the clock. Everything else is a deception. And you can't control how fast that goes, so you gotta be able to read quick. Although, when it comes to illusion, I could have made a power quest joke, but I don't think anyone else would get it. <laughs> probably not. So, yes, here we are in which the graveyard, makes... which, considering how much I've already pissed off Lady K today, is probably where I'm going to be going next. And it's only, and the, and the night is still young. <laughs> yes. Anyway, this little bit now sells bombs. A bomb? A bomb. But don't count on me ever using them. I don't think I've used a single bomb in the entire playthrough. They're use they're useless compared to some of the other ones. Also, pass through the hidden tree, and uh, here comes one of Tito's favorite places. Oh, never mind. Hold on, we're not going there yet. We're gonna search around a little bit because there be I secrets. I sense a really bad joke coming up. <laughs> coming from you, that's saying something. And there's our new ch a new another new chip block jump scare that prevents us from getting stunned by jump scare attacks. You think by being animatronics they would already be immune to that, but uh, whatever. This game's logic already doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to. I think that's kind of the point. Yeah. <laughs> and we got robotic reapers floating in the air. And a new challenger, oh. Nightmare Chica. And immediately killed by the insta-kill reapers. Jesus. <laughs> wow. I, that's how effective those things are. They make it so much easier to grind for shit. So we now have Nightmare Chica, who we're not going to use because she doesn't really have anything that's going to help. Ow. 
Did you get a bottle on your head? No, Lady K is cleaning up right now, and she accidentally moved a chair, which screeched louder than a banshee. <laughs> Yay, more things! And oh, okay, then that's that's that that oh okay. <laughs> okay, that escalated quickly. <laughs> so I guess this is our thriller bark. Yes. Well, wow. Yes. <laughs> One Piece fans out there get that. And now we're here we are in the deep metal mine. I fucking hate all of you. <laughs> I was waiting. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> if it's any consolation, we will not so be fighting this. this in the goddamn mines. <laughs> if, it's, if it's any consolation, it's not. This one's a little different. There's a lot of different enemies in this one. It's not the same enemies we've been seeing. You know, no tin men, no gold mines. So it's at least got that going for it. Oh, uh, I know exactly how I'm, do I'm doing the how I'm, I'm getting get to T Dub. Hey, you want you want this wrestling thing? You have to go into a mine. <laughs> it's not that bad as long as I actually don't have to view this. Because Scott, call that. I love you, but the sort of gameplay mechanic you put in here, where you have to constantly revisit the same area over and over again, it's never worked. <laughs> it especially doesn't work when it's this gray area just full of gray and brown just no oh then he must have played play one of them call of duty games all gray all the time and we have another level this one sells uh boss drain enemies enemies specifically used for bosses that just constantly drain their health it's, it's somewhat effective but not super effective yeah i don't know. If you're going to get it, I'd say save up for the big one, like the five grand one, because at least that one probably is going to do some damage. But I never use it. You get to a point too where you... Much of a, yeah, too much of an OG. Yeah, well, that... You, you get to a point where you're so overpowered that even without the insta-kills, you don't really... You know, you can pretty much take most guys down pretty quick. Especially the earlier bosses. Like... I'm pretty sure I have maybe one more game over by the end of this, and then that's it. Maybe two, and even then there were reasons behind it. But for the most part, I'm usually... It, I don't die very often. And remember, I'm playing on hard mode, so that's saying, that's saying a lot. Yeah, be you play on the hard mode because you're a real hardcore gamer, and you want everyone else to just get good. <laughs> The other type of person likes to play Dark Souls blindfolded. Oh, God, no. I've never even played the Dark Souls, period, much less on hard mode. Anyway, we're going to... Hey, don't play... Just Don't just play Dark Souls. You have to play Drunk Souls. Oh, God, no. Hey, that could be the, that could be a new thing, you know. If we're ever at Shade's house again, you know, we could play Dark Souls and get him drunk to try to play it then. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I believe you. Oh. I, I, I believe the point has been skipped. Yeah. Anyway, we have our next boss here. Instead of an eyesore guarding the treasure chest, it's the Mad Endo. Hooray, something different. <laughs> and it's, a, it's it's new Jataker. Look at this guy. And he's mixed in the eyes. And Mad Endo had this skeleton's body. This joke was random. <laughs> yeah, I know you're trying to go for a Terminator thing, but it's not quite working. No, yeah. no, it's not. Sorry. Uh, good hustle. I got some steak. I got right something. <laughs> but yeah, this yeah, is... good hustle. Have some steak. <laughs> but yeah, this is the one thing about it. Like, for me, at this point, I'm going to have two parties. One party with a lot of insta-kill moves to take on, like, regular grunts. And then I'll have a second party specifically for boss fights. Yeah, this guy's going down. Yep, and... So close. And he's dead. And didn't even kill any of my guys. Oh, love the level up. Yep. And yes, I'm going to say that every time. <laughs> and that gives us my favorite chip, the fine characters chip. That chip is going to make it easier for us to come across uh, new, char new playable characters. Uh... Does the game ever tell you if you've gotten all the characters within a given area? No. Oh. But to make it easier, even if you've missed characters, like like I said in a past video, how it works is basically 
once you've unlocked an area, then any characters you can get up to that area will become available. So you can find characters from the first area here. So oh, all right. you got if you're still missing some characters by the time you get to like the last area, you can just grind there and keep finding enemies. Speaking of which, we have Endo 2 Die, 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 die. It's dead. Yep. And now it's joined us. Now, the Endos are actually pretty good because they have... A, this one here is actually pretty good because it has two cool abilities. The Endo Army and the Neon Wall. So I'm assuming that the Endo Army has a little t bunch of tiny Endos come out and just attack the enemy, right? You got it. Three little Endos appear in the front of the party and just blast away. Uh, the Neon Wall creates this... Well, it's basically a Neon Shield that blocks... that reduces damage of most attacks, making it a lot harder for enemies to kill you. Very useful. In fact, there it is now. Oh, it looks very nice. Yep. Looks almost like uh, something from, uh, what's it? Uh, Disney movie, uh, Tron. Uh, yeah, I can see that. And then, of course, there's the Endo Army. Very useful as well. I don't know why, but I just kind of dig Endo's animation. It just sort of just it almost looks like he's dancing there. <laughs> what is love? Baby, don't, don't hurt, hurt me. me. Don't hurt don't me. Hurt me. No, no more. <laughs> now I have a sudden itch to replay Centro 4 again. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, not really. Just do me a favor. Don't fuck up, Bismarcky. <laughs> well, I won't. Can't say anything about the main boss of the game, though. <laughs> yeah, that, that guy's a dick. Yeah. By the way, should we ever do that game for this? Uh, I don't know. Well, I I was thinking at some point we have to do like a multiplayer game together, like. But I don't think any of us have a version of Saints Row Four we can play together. And well, there's other and, factors, uh, too. You and, well, at the very least, you and Maddie have a copy you guys have. That's we both have the same system. That's true. There is that. And then, which, oh, by the way, that reminds me, Maddie. Uh, I actually have our PS3 hooked up again. If I if it's still working, I can actually join you guys for a PS3 game night sometime down the road. And a new challenge has appeared, and it's Phantom Mangle. All right, Phantom Mangle, and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> And his name is John. Oh, wait, it's gone already. Look at that. <laughs> so I guess we're just uh, Bill Goldberg our way through these new challengers. Pretty. Who's next? Who's next? <laughs> yeah. Who's next? The most, the more important question is, who's first? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I think at this point I was and just I'm, verifying if I had anything else left to do here. I think the only thing that's here in here is the clock, which we haven't by found. By the way, I apologize. Yeah, by the way, I apologize to all non-wrestling fans watching this, being so confused by our wordings of things <laughs> and all our references. It's be all oh, quit being a worker. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most of the people who watch our videos, with what few of them we have, are fans of ours and know that we do a lot of wrestling jokes. I think they're used to it by now. I hope so, but you know, you never know when you get... Someone here who's not used to watching our videos just wondered, what the hell is with all the wrestling references? I don't understand. What is this? I'm confuzzled. What is this? I don't even. Now, what's the wrestling? Well, when a man loves a woman very much. Okay, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> See, when a man loves a woman very much, he gets a donkey and a midget involved, and, well, it just gets weirder from there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. What, what, is that not everybody else's Saturday night? Is it just me? Teach his own, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Freaking light wakes. Boy. Okay then, Nightmare Fredbear. You look even weirder in this game than you do in the actual game. <laughs> Alright, back out the mine. Every time I see a graveyard, I just have this urge to play uh, Majora's Mask. <laughs> I don't know why. 
no. Not a bad game to play, so I don't see a problem with that. Definitely not. Now, I think at this point, I do get a little bit lost trying to figure out what to do next, but I do know, I do know we get a little bit further on by the time when you get to the end. Kill everything. Kill everything that breeds. Yeah, this is not Undertale. We can kill it all. Yeah, we can kill it all and there will be no consequences. Nope. <laughs> and it will totally... And, uh, and on this game, our save file will not be corrupted. Nope. <laughs> by the way, that is a dick thing that the developers of that game did. The developer, that was made file. by one guy. Oh, wow. That's even more impressive. Yeah, the, the only thing that he didn't do was some of the characters were, that, he, that he used. Like, a couple of the characters were developed by other people, but a, most otherwise, majority of that game, he did himself. Yeah, if those don't know, if you go through the game through doing a Genesis Idol run... It pretty much. It makes it impossible to ever get the truly good ending judgment. without a full, complete reset of the game. Like, it's crazy. Like, never do. Make sure your genocide run is the last thing you do. Do the pacifist run first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or else the game will constantly just be like, "Oh, now you're doing the the good run." I see. Too and it just constantly judges you like that. It does. It really does. Holy shit! <laughs> like I said, those, those reapers, man, those fucking reapers. You're gonna see a lot of battles are like sure, that. Are you sure they're they're me reapers or just Mil Muertes' goons? <laughs> oh yeah, they, they, I guess they could be disciples of death. I mean, yeah. There are three of them. There are three of them. These prototypes look like they're headbanging. Someone should just take their uh, animation gifts and just play some metal music over it. Well, yeah, headbanging. Wait. Um, have you ever seen the music video? Uh, oh, dear. Oh, oh, before we get any further, there? Golden Freddy. And he's dead. I imagine Golden Freddy is a pretty OP character, right? Actually, he's he's okay, but he's not anything special. You think that? In Golden Freddy would be like one of the more OP characters in the game, you oh, know? Oh, trust me, there are OP characters, and I will be getting to them when we get there. But the the most OP characters are also the hardest to get. Well, not the Reapers. <laughs> well, I'm talking about in terms of finding them. Ah. Because... There is, like, the later enemies are, the later, like, characters are a lot harder, for, like, a lot rarer for them to pop up. Even with the chip? Even with the chip. In fact, they're practically impossible to find without the chip. Wow. All righty then. Yeah, it's one of those kind of deals. Okay, now at this point, I think I'm working towards getting the clock, because that's the one thing we haven't gotten done here yet, is the clock. So we're late. We're late for an important date. Yep. Also, uh, getting back to the uh, headbanging thing you mentioned, Maddie, uh, there's actually a music video uh, based on the, based on this game. There's actually the song I've been using for the end slate of our videos um, by DA Games. And in his video, he actually has has some of the clips of the enemies bouncing around, and it kind of looks like they're headbanging to the music. I was going to go, Would would you say they're... Mosh and or Thrasher. Ah, I get it. Boo. Boo. <laughs> oh, come on. You know that's good. Hey, T-Dub, just remember. It could have been worse. He could have right, brought John. up Mosh's uh, other gimmick that he did afterwards. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I was actually about to say that. I would actually prefer a beaver cleavage reference. Oh, God. <laughs> God damn it, T-Dub. <laughs> That's the one I was avoiding. <laughs> By the way, if anyone watching this has no idea what beaver cleavage is, good. Keep yeah. it that way for your own for your own sanity. For your own sanity, don't. Just just don't. It is Katie Vick levels of bad. And if you don't know what Katie Vick is, good too. <laughs> yes. You're better off knowing more of Chaz than you are of Beaver Cleavage. Let's put it that way. And another new challenger, Withered Freddy! 
And he's dead. Withered Freddy. Withered Freddy. Freddy. So we get to do a decisive move now. <laughs> By the way, please We're check out our new live stream series, Ride of the Transformation, these every Wednesday here on RVT Entertainment. Cheap plug. Cheap plug is all the way in this video, but <laughs> hey, that's what we do. Yes. Cheap plugs and cheap jokes. <laughs> Pretty much. And hey, one more new good. challenger for the road, Nightmare Freddy. Now, is this character OP at all? The Nightmare, actually, Nightmare Freddy's not bad, but we'll have to talk more about that uh, in the next episode. Yes, folks, next time on FNAF World, we're finally in the Gritch World, and we're going to find out where this, where this rabbit hole leads. So see you guys next time here on the RVG Game Crew. Later, everybody! <laughs> <laughs>